The First Ascendant is a game I have had my eye on for a while, and I've been excited to play. And after playing for a couple of days, I'm happy to share my thoughts on the game so far. Let me know your thoughts about the game in the comments below. So just to say where I'm currently at, at this point I am Master Rank 10 with 5 zones and 3 Descendants unlocked. I chose Ajax as my starting character. Alright, enough about me. Let's talk about the story. So far, it's fine. Not much to like or dislike, mostly a generic action story of fighting the bad guy and his bad army. It mostly serves as a long tutorial, slowly introducing you to the various systems and characters the game has to offer. The characters you meet along the way are mildly interesting, except for Jeremy. All my homies hate Jeremy and his childish dialogue. I do like the world of Ingress and the bits of lore I've been able to discover. I also appreciate the side quests that focus on the story about particular descendants and learning more about their history. At some point in the story, you may hit a difficulty spike or you might just want to research other items or descendants. Either way, now you have to start farming and this is the true game, at least up to the point where I'm at. You will decide on items that you want to find or create and then run missions, dungeons, or fight the colossi to collect the materials needed. These objectives range from fun to okay to play through. I find the colossi fights to be pretty cool with decent boss mechanics to keep me on my toes. It's pretty fun. I hope as I play on, they will continue to improve on these colossi mechanics and void level layout. The missions, side events, and dungeons are fine. I turn my brain off and just blast through them. Now the dungeon end bosses are also mostly fine but there are a couple with a shield mechanic that you have to shoot orbs in their spawn order. Not a fan. It becomes a trial and error mess, so I just usually kill ads and let the other players figure it out. Once you finish those objectives, you get loot, and the loot is where this game shines. You will mainly have to manage guns, accessories, and modules, while the other general materials you can hold onto for crafting are to be broken down further. The gun system they have is really nice, with all the variants between weapon type, rarity, and ammo type even further nuance between guns of the same gun type. I'm having fun finding and crafting new guns and trying them out. I find I use different guns for different descendants and that's nice. It's not just a one gun fits all mindset so far. I hope to find some interesting ultimate gun abilities and I'm excited to see what comes from the transcendent weapons. Same with modules. As I find new modules, it gets my mind thinking about build possibilities for these descendants. Considering not only what to equip, but if I have the capacity to level them up to where I need them to be. I like that you can have module loadouts that you can switch for certain scenarios. There are 554 modules between the guns and the descendants, so plenty to uncover and mess around with. Granted, some are duplicated between ammo types. Now I'm grouping reactors and external components as accessories. These are items that will boost your descendant's skill power and survivability. For Ajax, I'm using defense boosting external components. Since the enhanced barrier reflection damage is based on skill power and defense. Not really build defining, just something I'm toying around with. Now I'm not ignoring the fact that the first Ascendant is a game that doesn't just wear its influences on its sleeves, but more like they're tattooed on its face. But so far, this game has been fun to play, gear has been fun to find and craft, and I think overall there is a good base here to build on, despite some glaring flaws and quality of life updates to be made. We'll see if I keep my enthusiasm as I keep playing and attempt to finish out the campaign. 